So now we have actually already learned the most important concepts and we can build our first cryptographic primitive from it. So let's look at the discrete logarithm. So if we work in the multiplicative group of a field and we have a generator of this group, we can calculate the exponentiation. Like generator to the power of a gives us capital A modulo p and p is a prime number because we have learned that it's only a field if p if the modulus is a prime number right so then we can also calculate the discrete logarithm so take capital a with the basis g and calculate the exponent right well actually no we really can't so it's actually really difficult to compute the discrete logarithm, the ro logarithm modulo p. Difficult might be a strange term, so let's say it's computationally hard, meaning that we could do it, but our computing power is just not strong enough if the modulus p is a large number. So if p is large enough, no computer, no matter how strong on Earth, will be able to calculate the discrete logarithm. So we have here a construction where calculating in one direction via exponentiation is doable, but calculating it the other way with the discrete logarithm is computational hard and infeasible for an attacker to do. And it turns out we can actually use that for crypto for, for for cryptography <laughs>